Hi everyone, welcome to this new video and welcome to the beta of Embers Drift. Before to start up, I would like to personally thank all of our alpha tester. Without their hard work, without their testing, their loyalty, their trust, we will never have arrived to what we are today. So if the game is in this state today, it's thanks to our beautiful alpha tester community. Now, what do we have into the beta? What can you expect? Let's speak about that. First of all, enjoy to customize your character with our character creator. This is a prototype and more improvement, more option will be added in future. In particular, the area of the face, which you cannot change at the moment. But you can already select your option and create the character of your dream or almost. If you don't like your appearance or want to change, you can come back anytime to the character selection screen and edit your character. And this for free. It doesn't cost you in-game currency or worse, real-life money. You can select one of the three roles available. Defender, Striker and Supporter. Once you reach level 6, you will be able to choose one of three specializations. Each of those specializations incorporates some aspect from another role. For example, Defender and Supporter become a Knight. Defender and Striker become a Juggernaut. Defender and Controller become a Marshal. Yes, indeed, Controller is available, but as a specialization. This means we have currently nine different specializations in-game. The three first base abilities are common to every role. The later ones are different for each spec and define the game style of each spec. You can unlearn a spec if you do not like it. You will keep your role level, but you will lose your progress in the spec. Some abilities utilize regions. The region system is recently put in place to allow players to customize further their character. You can utilize each ability without region, but it will be a little bit weak. But once you got some region equipped, you will be able to tweak, reinforce, empower those abilities with extra flavor. You will find different regions by hunting animals or NPCs' enemies. Or by harvesting. This system is aimed to encourage players to explore, hunt and trade with each other. At the moment the selection of regions is still limited, but this will be expanded as we are exploring and going further into the beta. At the moment I'm recording this video, a fourth zone is currently being developed and very well might be introduced in the beta as you are watching this. But for now we do have three different zones. Each of those zones contain content for solo player, small group and large group of players. You will be able to see the difficulty of the content by checking the chevron system. Your targets will be marked by a chevron. If it's one chevron, it means it's soloable. If there's two chevron, it's aimed for a small group of two or three players. Three chevron mean that the content is aimed for a full group and a good combination of role. You can check the difficulty of the content related to your level as well with the color system. Green and blue mean that it's easy. White, it's the same level than you are. Yellow, it's a little higher level than you are. Orange is a lot higher. And red is impossible for you to defeat. Each zone contains point of interest to discover. By discovering the point of interest and discovering the embering, you are revealing your map. Something really exciting in a game like ours is obviously to find loot. 
You will find armor and weapons on exile, smugglers, thief, and other humanoids NPCs. While animals will provide you crafting and region, named bosses will offer you unique items that are very powerful and that you may want to hunt. In South New Haven, you have the possibility to explore our first dungeon, Central Vein. This content is aimed for a full group of level 4 to level 6 players. Obviously, you can tackle this content when you're a little bit higher or a little bit lower, depending on the composition of your group. You will find two different entrances, one situated at the west of the map and one situated at the east. This is a public dungeon, it is not instanced. If there are several groups, you may cross another group in it. You will find all kinds of mobs into it. It's dangerous, it can be scary, and it's very labyrinthic. This dungeon is designed to initiate new players to what our dungeon system is. You may even encounter named boss, what is really shiny loot. Enjoy the first iteration of our harvesting and crafting system. We do have three different harvesting profession, forester, hunter, and prospector, and three different crafting profession, outfitter, weaponsmith, and provisioner. The crafting equipment and consumable are the most powerful in game with the exception of named boss's loot. While you can absolutely solo your adventure in Ambassador Rift, it is encouraged and suggested to make friends. This game is designed for you to group up and for players to cooperate and play together. When you're looking for group, players that are using the tool can find you easily. They can also see the LFG that is next to your name when meeting you in-game. We do have a global channel. Through this global channel, you can address players among all the zones. This is a very easy way to chit-chat with everyone as well as to set up a group. We really recommend you and suggest you to set up groups and to try to play with other players. Our combat is particularly fun when in a group setting. It is a strategic combat, so you will see that it's very fun when you play together with other players. You can also tackle more challenging content easily that way. Remember that you can ask questions and ask for help using the global channel. A lot of the time developers are hanging out there just to answer you. We do have different work in progress, several zones, as well as dungeon, quests, are currently being worked on and will be implemented through the beta. Note that some content will not be shown before launch. This is the case of the city that we are keeping secret and some quests that will not be revealed, so to not spoil our players. Thank you very much to all of you that have taken the step and the risk to pre-order our game. Thank you for your support. Do not hesitate to give all of your feedback on Discord, on our forum, as well as using the slash report command. This gives us directly a report and we can investigate as soon as possible. I hope you will enjoy yourself. Take care and see you soon for another video.